Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So let's create our first test. Let's expand this test folder. Let's delete this file. This is the dummy or the example file created when we were installing the packages. Okay. So under test folder, let me add one spec file named title spec. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's start writing our test. Test. Let's require. Play right test. Okay. We will write our test here. Basic title test. The same method. Page. Okay. Let's navigate to the application URL, which is this one. Demo yourself. Okay. We need to verify the title, so we will be keeping this very clear title. Page creator. We will be verifying this Acme storefront powered by Next.js commerce title. Let's open the developer toolbar. It's under the head and title tag. So let me give this as title. Use the index. Okay. Let's wait. Let's verify this using expect title to have. Text. Text is this one. Okay, so we created a spec file named title. Then we required test and expect. We are navigating to the virtual demo website and we are going to verify the title of the page. Okay. So now let's run the test and see what results we get. It's npx playwright test. So if you remember, we, we installed three browsers. It is going to run the test on all three browsers. And note that this Tests are run by default in headless mode. It will take few seconds. Let's wait for it. So the first test is on Chromium browser, if you can see from the console. Second test is on Firefox. And third was the kit, and all three tests passed. You can see. Now, we we saw that uh, this test ran in uh, head headless mode, and we were not able to do, uh, see what it was uh, doing on the browser. 
So we will be using additional argument name hyphen hyphen headed. Okay. So it will invoke the browser, all three browsers, and run the test. It will be a quick test. Let's see that. So it invoked Chromium browser. It's navigating to demo.versal.store website. It has verified the title. It has invoked the Firefox and then the Kit browser as well. It is navigating to the website. It is going to verify the. Okay. So if you see, three tests are passed. Okay. So uh, by default, Playwright generates the HTML report as well. It's always kept under Playwright iPhone report. We will see this report as well. Copy the part, okay, and then in the browser. If you can see, three tests are run on three different browsers. Okay, you can see it invoked uh, the browser and then navigated to this URL. Then it verified the text. Okay. And then it closed the browser. Thanks for watching this video.